Hey there fellow YouTubers, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and we're going to be going over motion sketching today. So my computer just crashed, actually my After Effects crashed for no reason at all. All I did was move my mouse around so I gotta open up the project again. And to quickly get to a project that you just had, you can go to Open Recent Projects and this is the one that I had last. I mean, that's why saving is good. I have that's why I have the auto save on for every five minutes. If something random like that just happens, uh, um, I don't. Some of these programs are they just crash all the time for no good reason. So let's go over motion sketching now. And basically, what a motion sketch is is you take your mouse cursor and you can draw a path and it will animate the position keyframes for you so first we gotta go to window and open up the motion sketch window and it shows up down here and uh, this is the these are the default settings we'll keep that there for now I'm gonna go into position oh, I gotta turn this audio off I'm gonna show that off later um, and we can click on start capture just to show you what it does so click and hold and drag and it will animate keyframes according to how fast and slow you move your cursor around and as you can see it creates a buttload of keyframes there and it's really hard to edit so uh, in a different tutorial I'll show you how to fix that so let's uh, I'm gonna hit control Z so I can undo that sketch actually I'll do a ramp preview and see what it looks like oh man that's terrible <laughs> I don't think any client would ever want that ever so let's delete all those and I'll show you another uh, motion sketch trick. You can hit background here, check that, and then when you start to capture your next motion path, it's going to show the background. Now your motion sketch pretty much goes until your uh, comp is over. You can set it here by dragging the uh, this workspace uh, bar here so I can drag this one to make a new starting point or if I go to the end and drag this end the uh, end duration there is different it ends it'll end earlier so um, I'll keep the background on I feel like it's better to keep the background on unless you got a whole bunch of stuff but I mean you really probably would want references. So delete that. And then um, you can change the speed at which it uh, captures. So if, you, if you're like fast with your mouse or have your cursor set to really fast or something, you can set the capture speed up higher or lower to adjust for uh, how fast your uh, mouse is. Some people have a slow cursor that like goes like this across the screen, and that's a, a mean trick we play on our friends sometimes at the studios. It's really annoying when you can't barely move it. It even moves slower than that. And then you have the option to smooth out ahead of time the uh, motion capture. So let's uh, let's add some smoothing into it. And I'll turn on my audio. Now when you start your capture, the audio will play along with it, so you can move to the music. Move to the music. Anyways, you can move to the music and make like audio-based motion paths. So I'm back now after my computer randomly cr uh, basically froze. It didn't crash this time, it just froze. So let's uh, go ahead with the uh, capture with the audio. So going to start capture hold down the button here so there we got this moving to uh, the music there that I picked 
I'm gonna do a little preview. Let's see if I even got close. Yeah, not even close to being on time. So I uh, also have the smoothing on, so it's gonna be uh, a little different. You can see uh, not as many keyframes and since I have the smoothing on, I couldn't get exactly with the time. Uh, I didn't have good timing with the uh, music. Delete those. And um, now there's a setting in your preferences for motion paths that you'll want to check. I, I'm going to go to edit preferences and then go to the display section and motion path is here and right now it's only going to display no more than 15 seconds so if you have something that's longer than that you're going to want to switch to uh, all keyframes there and that will help you go past 15 seconds so i just have it i'll just put it on there for now i don't really use uh, the motion sketch all that much because i'm not like too great at it so I usually mo uh, do most things by hand. Also, if you're creating a motion sketch and you don't want to go the whole duration, you can just let go of the mouse button and it'll stop. That's about it for motion sketching. There is a way to smooth it out because, I mean, having all those keyframes there is going to be a pain to, uh, to edit and um, but you don't want to have a zillion keyframes though the least amount of keyframes you can have the better because there's less room for mistakes and less room for any like possible glitches or anything like that so we'll see you on the next tutorial while we're gonna figure out how to smooth out the motion sketch a little better than using the smoothing down here see you there